Hello and thank you for watching. This is SDSE back again with LEGO Transformers Sea Spray. When I started this build, it honestly wasn't going to be a sea spray. I just wanted to experiment with making a submarine using LEGO arches, and if anything, I was more so leaning towards trying to make it a Nautica. But as the build progressed, it started to feel more and more like a mini-bot, and I realized it would be perfect as a sea spray. So I shifted gears and made this cute little submarine. Taking a closer look, up front the sub has two manipulator arms and a set of searchlights, making it perfect for exploring deep in the ocean. While I imagine this sub could probably be converted into a manned vehicle, it's set up to be unmanned and has a yellow camera under the front dome. As a side note, that dome piece has been in my collection for nearly a decade, and it's great to finally find a use for it. The back features a large propeller ring, however there's no actual propeller. Unfortunately, with how he transforms, I just wasn't able to include that detail. The front propeller pods can rotate freely, and the manipulator arms have two points of articulation, allowing for some slight variation in posing. I think this is a very effective alt mode. It's visually simple, but captures all the features you'd want on a submarine, and is instantly recognizable. Sure, it's probably incredibly unrealistic, but that's not something I'm particularly concerned with. He's just a cute little cartoony sub, and I think that's perfect. But that's all there is to say about sub mode, so now it's time to transform. Sea Spray's transformation is super simple, but I think that just helps to give him a mini-bot charm. The vehicle shifts in big chunks into a cute, friendly-looking robot. For his color scheme, I decided to cut out the white. There just wasn't really a good place for the color, and I ended up replacing it with a light gray accent. Taking a closer look, starting from the bottom, the rear propeller splits into a pair of big rounded boots. The torso is formed from the hull of the ship, which features a small set of pressure gauges on the stomach. The chest is a smaller diameter and is revealed by the arm transformation. The arms are dead simple and formed from a portion of the hull's outer layer. The searchlights were the last thing I added to the model, and they form the hands. I think they really bring the whole model together and do a lot to define the arms and make them feel less like abstract chunks. The head was the camera in sub mode and is protected under the clear dome. I love that he effectively has a diving helmet and he looks ready for some deep sea exploration. While I often try to give my creations impressive or innovative transformations, sometimes it's fun to do a simple one. Not every bot needs a complex conversion, least of all a mini bot like Sea Spray. Instead, he's just a cute little guy with a quick, easy transformation between two wonderful modes. While I can't say I've ever been a particularly big fan of Sea Spray, I think this design captures the original's charm and hopefully any die-hard sea spray heads in the audience feel the same way. But that's all I have for now, so I'll see you next time.